What's up everybody and welcome to No Man's Sky! We are going to be playing, hopefully, until we get our spaceship off the ground. God, this is just going to be awesome. I mean, I've waited for this to come to PlayStation and VR since the day that they said that this game was even in development. Ah, survival! Oh, oh my god! Wow! That's amazing! <gasps> I, if this is just a opening screen because <laughs> this is like the galaxy map in it so we'll get to explore this all the time hopefully once we're like in space I've basically avoided everything so I'm I mean I know some of the little quirks because some of the other youtubers that I chat to have been like just in case you're unaware there are a few things <gasps> oh I'm home I've already turned off all the settings, so the vinaigrette's turned off, it should look really nice for you. I mean, if I run, nothing will happen, because I don't deal with any of that. Reach over your shoulder. Oh, yeah! Ah! Oh, it's beautiful! Ah, set phases to stun. Technology is critically damaged. Ferrite dust required. Okay. Go away. Okay, we need ferrite dust. Oh, my God! Wow! It's a ringed planet! That's so rare, really, in space, just as a general rule of thumb. <laughs> Only really happens to young stars, uh, young star systems, that you really get that. Because a young planet only has like stuff floating around it normally because, well, you only have the debris floating around a planet when it's been around for a short period of time and it hasn't had time to clear it all. But obviously in the galactic time scale of things that can still be millions and millions of years, which is why Saturn still has rings in our system. Oh wow! Oh good, ferrite dust! Yay! I wonder how much I need. Oh good, it is counting for me. I'm sure these tutorials will go away, because I know the tutorial from memory being very, very annoying. Oh, what's that mean? Oh, it's turning red. I noticed the beam changing colour. Oh, I see! So I can sort of, as I use it, it turns red. Or the beam turns redder and it becomes overcharged. But the closer to being overcharged it is, the faster it mines. Wonderful. Okay, we've got to repair some stuff. Scanner. Good! Scan to locate sodium. Scan! Uh, sodium, sodium. Oh, can I scan things? Can't I scan things individually? Mining beam. I think we can make this into a gun and this will randomly generate. We can go to uh, star bases and like get new guns and new ships. Wait, where is our ship? Don't we totally have a spaceship? <laughs> Oh my god, I can fly. Oh yes, I have a jetpack. Oh, forgot about that. Sprinting and flying is a thing. <laughs> this is all going to take a little bit of getting used to. It's very different to Skyrim. <laughs> Ow, why am I dying? Exosuit. Something's not right. Something's out, of th something's out of something. Sodium. I'm still looking for sodium for the same purpose. Sodium, sodium, sodium. I don't know what sodium looks like though, game. I'm just shooting things and hoping, so I assume I have to get a bit of it before it will come up on the scanner. Run into the cave. There might be some sodium in the cave. Also, might get away with living longer in a cave. Okay, my toxic thing's going up, so that's fine. Do we have a torch or something? Oh, there's all the vehicles. No freighter-owned hover car. Wow, there's loads of stuff. Is that like a... That's like a proper RV. Is that a motorbike? And a submarine! Ah, oh, that's pretty wizard. Oh, there we go! Now we're Star Trekking. Now we're Star Trekking! God, this is so creepy! Carbon! Okay, that's got to be useful for something. Didn't something need carbon? I saw carbon in here. What needed carbon? Nothing. Nothing needed carbon. Oh, oxygen. Oxygen. Not the same. Not the same at all. Oh. Hello. Pull. Oh, okay. So you kind of grab and pull to open. Or, or to steal. Tetra cobalt. These really do look like eggs. I don't really want to shoot them. Have ter terrible flashbacks to alien. Oh, do I shoot it or pull it? Shoot it. But Barrow? But Marrow Bulb. 
Also, not oxygen. I believe we've come to a dead end, sir. Oh yeah, I can't mine? Okay, I can't if I hit the ground. Does... Okay, no, I, I need an upgrade or something to do that then. Ooh, ooh, ee. Ow! Okay, maybe fall damage is totally a thing. Ah! Light! God, the clouds look quite good. They're really fuzzy, I'll admit, but they are, they work. I, I can't lie, I mean, they look as good as Minecraft clouds because my, oh god, that, that bloody planet is just beautiful. <laughs> you know, other, I know they're not square, nah, Minecraft clouds are square, but, they, you know, they're just as good as they need to be. <laughs> they're probably not, you know, it's not like you can touch them. They're clouds. I wonder if we can fly through them, or if they'll just disappear when we get near them like every other game. I'll be so amazed if we can, like, fly through clouds properly and it works. Ah, oh, there's more cave! Okay, in this side. Might be some in here. Oxygen! That's the thing! Ew! I looked like it was going to do something unpleasant. Is that it? I feel like that's not going to be enough, surely. It's just one oxygen. What did I need it for? Oh, that's it. You just need one to recharge. Oh, it's just a very, very small amount. Okay, so it won't last long. Sodium, sodium. We still need sodium. Sodium is normally yellow. I know we're in an alien universe and everything randomly generates, so... But there is a yellow glow over there. Hello! Rescue me! Hello! SOS! No! Beep, beep. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, life forms by what I assume to be my sodium. Please do not harm me. Offer food. Feed with pellets. Do I have pellets? Oh, no, I don't. It's just giving me the option. Thank you, game. Sodium! It is literally like I dreamed. And I can pick it, so I don't need the gun. I need to live by some sodium. I wonder if we can plant these when we start building like a Subnautica house. I haven't got any idea how we're going to build a house. You guys are going to have to tell me what your houses are like. Send me lots of pictures on my Twitter and leave some comments on what, how, how you've done your awesome buildings and what you've done with uh, your plants and animals. And I too may copy your wonderful suggestions. Recharge has a protection on it. Can I do that in here? Quick menu. Because it... Oh, okay, yeah, this is much better. Okay, this is actually really intuitive. I'm really getting the hang of it. Mining later. Carbon. You take carbon. That's fine. Good you. Mwah. Exosuit initialization in progress. Investigate your surroundings. What do you think I'm doing? Birds! I can't scan you unless you're on the floor. Sorry. <laughs> or at least I don't think I can. In fact, I don't know how to scan yet. Is it just this? No, that's not good enough. I swear there's a way to actually scan, scan. We'll get to it. We'll get to it. Ha! Huh, I like mushrooms cut in half, but leaves. Oh, God, everything's so distracting. I'm going to die. I can hear it going off. To whatever that is. 500 U. U being a meter. A thousand meters is a kilometer, so half a kilometer away. Sorry, I had to really think about that when you're wandering around in space in a virtual reality headset and you're trying to concentrate on staying alive. Math isn't your strong point. God, that view! That is incredible. If I'm going to have a house, it would have to be on a cliff face or something so I could overlook that. And when I've got my ship, wherever that is, I could, like, bring it in. I need that! Oxygen's really useful for staying alive! Is there a way to harvest from plants? Because these are plants, so I would assume I can, like... No, I don't want to... Can I not? No, I think I have to shoot it. That's annoying. It'd be really cool if you could, like, harvest a plant without killing it, you know, so you can keep taking from it. That's amazing. I'm so at home here. This is so beautiful. God damn, I wasn't quite ready for this. Ah, things. Okay, whatever it is, I'm here! Oh, it's a ship! Oh my god, fuck the signal source! Oh, wow! Look at you, baby! You're beautiful! Radiant Pillar, BC-1. Oh, look at that! It's got like a, a sensor sticking out the front. Oh, your engines are beautiful! You've got lovely long wings! Oh, look at this! It's like a flying V! You look a bit like... um. It's like Spike's ship 
from Cowboy Bebop. He had these on each side, though I mean the middle part doesn't really match. If we could get one with like a ball in the middle and all red in this shape, I would, I'm there. <laughs> oh, those engines are just beautiful. I love you. Mm -hmm. You are my baby. I think we can even rename them. I think we can rename everything. Okay, that's bad. Suddenly, the issue is pressing. Oh, ships! It's busy! Oh, wow, the dust coming off the floor as they go by. That's amazing as well. What do I need? Investigate the crash ship. I did that. Um, I mean, investigate it further. Oh, I get in. <gasps> oh. oh, what a lovely cockpit. What a lovely cockpit! Oh, all the little details. There's like a fan going around behind the grate. Can I... How do I... Is it this? To get out? Oh shit, this thing's happening. Sorry. Launch thrusters offline. Pulse engines offline. Everything's broken. I could have worked that one out. I find myself alone on a strange world. Unequipped and in danger. I have no memory of how I got here. No sense of a before. But this ship, at least, seems to recognize me. The controls react to my touch, or at least to that of my exosuit. I am not dead yet. And this ship is a lifeline out to the stars. What a beautiful shot to look up to. Pilot should perform maintenance. Desire repairs. Okay, I will fix you, child. Tell me. Okay, everything's broken. Hermetic seal metal plating. Okay. Um. Oh. Oh, yeah. And we're out. That is just beautiful. Oh, look at all the smoke and sparks coming out of her. No, it's not fair. We'll get you off the ground. I'll fix you. Let's get the torch back on. It gets dark really quickly and it keeps turning it off. It should just stay on until I turn it off. Craft metal plating to repair pulse engines. So I need ferrite dust. Wait, don't I have that? I got ferrite dust. Okay, that's one of them. So now it's just chromatic, chromatic metal, chromatic orb. <laughs> Whatever it was. Sorry, D&D &D slipping out there. Chromatic orb. I'm not sure. Back to the starship. I need more instructions. Okay. Pulse engine requires a magic seal. Request assistance. Iteration comparison reveals hermetic seal or hermetic seal. Nearby. Salvage planetary chart from distress beacon cache. Cool. I'm on it. I want to fly. Ah. Oh, yeah. We get to fly with the actual... Move controllers on my PS4 to fly properly. Ah, oh, that's so cool. Everything's so cool. Plot route. 800? That's miles away. I might be dead before I get there. And the torch turned off again. We seem to be inside a nebula. That or the sun is a red dwarf and it's just illuminating the clouds in a funny way. But it literally looks like the planet is floating in a nebula. Ah, see, I was waiting for that. I had a feeling I was going to start dying soon. Let's just go for a maximum charge. If I've got enough, yeah, fully charged. That's what I like to hear. Oh my god, it's on the other side of that ridge. We might as well just start mining. We're going to need some stuff, aren't we? So we might as well just start checking. Ferrite dust we don't need for staying alive. Carbon I do need for staying alive because that makes the gun work. There, I need this. Oh, I managed to grab it then. It said gassy pod and I thought I managed to grab it, but maybe not. Everything's going a bit green, isn't it? Oh, it's a storm. Oh dear. That's probably bad, isn't it? definitely a storm it's also radio it's also radioactive so I need to be totally like in my ship or something don't I and I'm like not I'm like wandering across this open wasteland couldn't start me on a nice planet could you or because I picked survival so I've got life and when I die everything will go and won't respawn it's like hard mode minecraft if we're going to do this, we're doing it seriously. Hard mode. Same as Skyrim. No fast travel. All that nonsense. Though I don't think that's a thing in this game, but still. <laughs> oh, it's a building, though. I can take refuge within its soft confines. Oh, it's in here anyway. Good, good, good. I thought it was somewhere else. Oh. Is that the door? <laughs> no, it's not. It's on the other side, and I need to be there now. 
Inside the building. Inside the building! Close the door! Oh, there we go. Wow, it really was green out there. That's so cool. And the torch actually goes through, like the glass. I really might want to have to get an underwater house because Subnautica isn't on uh, PS4 in VR. So this is as close as I'm going to get, damn it. To be fair, this is as close as I'm going to get to any game that I've ever wanted in VR. I mean, Elite Dangerous is here, really. But with proper online and getting out of your ship. In the fabricator might be something of use. Blah, visor damaged. Blah, can't find the ship. Recover supplies. Heal me. Oh, hermetic seal. I needed one of those. Yay. I've got what I needed. Oh, is there anything else in this room? Because some of these you can like grab like that one and it gave me this. But sometimes they give health and things. Oh, is the storm still a thing? Okay, it looks like the storm has passed. That doesn't help me with the whole staying alive thing. We'll just check this other building. Those lights are on. Can I turn those off? I can! Yeah, wasting electricity. This is an alien world. Ah, plants. Can't really see them without the light, but with the light it's so bright. Maybe I'll have to just wait for daytime and get my own plants. Uh, use analysis visor. No, oh! Sorry, the picture was like grabbing his head. But I think I might be mental. <laughs> install technology. Oh, bolt caster. Oh, okay, I've got lots of things to install that I didn't know about. Carbon nanotubes. I do not know what that is. Can I make car Oh, I can! Carbon! I can totally get carbon. That's in trees! God damn it, alien planet first started a new civilization and immediately mankind's first real need is to cut down the nearest tree. <laughs> I have failed you, humanity. I'm sorry, unidentified blood. Install technology analysis visor. Oh, it actually was. Click the side of your head. Oh, wow. I feel like, what's his name? Cyclops from X-Men. Although he needed it to, like, stop his eyes going mad. But, you know, I can't really think of anybody else. <laughs> Scotty. Scotty, I think, had one in Star Trek. I'm more of a Voyager man. Now I can scan things for... for credits. Scan everything. Need to find some plants and name them. This planet will be mine! Birds! I can scan them without killing them. I didn't have to shoot that other one. You are not unknown to me anymore! Become known! Z oh my god, it's a... Sorry, say that again? A Z Mantidodreum. No idea. <laughs> Locate your starship. Totally already done that one. Oh yeah, I've got to turn it off by clicking the side of my invisible helmet. It's weird because I am wearing like a headset, so that works really well at like sort of keeping you in in the world. That's great. Fly! Oh god, that's very high. Don't die on the impact. Okay, there we go. <laughs> I learned earlier, full damage is totally a thing. Nearly died. Let's not do it again. It's actually really detailed up close. I'm quite surprised. I saw loads of complaints that it was really blurry and horrible, and I'll admit, it's, it's you know, Skyrim. Everything, on, everything in VR seems to have a bit of a knockdown on it. You've just got to accept these things. We're in the early stages. Certainly, if you're on PSVR like I am, or you're on one of the, you'd say, medium-range headsets. So I've never had a problem with that myself, because it's all about the experience, and I've never really, really minded. But I've got to be honest, it looks fine anyway. It looks the same as Skyrim and everything else that's here, and I thought people were making it out to be drastically worse. Die plant! Unidentified. Not anymore! Because you're really useful, so being able to scan for you would be really handy. Now you die! Scan, so now it'll come up. Is that the idea? Yay! So now I can find them from a distance. Oh, this one's different, but I can now find them. No, didn't mean to shoot you. Sorry, I want to get in you. Let me climb inside you. Okay, I can make that now. Good. This technology is critically damaged. Pure ferrite, dihydrogen jelly. Advanced materials required to deploy a portable refiner. Uh, build. Oh, okay, okay, we're getting there. Well, this isn't actually any. Oh my god. I can pick a color? Well, it'll be red because I'm awesome. 
Oh no, I've made a terrible mistake. You do this in your inventory. I don't know what I needed this for, but it wasn't that. <laughs> that's why it's coming up here. Right, that's less confusing for everybody, isn't it? Now, I don't even know what I needed it for. The ship. Spaceship needed it. Okay, one of them, Dan, and... Pure ferrite. I had to use it for ferrite. I'm so sorry, game. I'm being thick. You. Begin. Oh, much quicker. That makes much more sense. <laughs> yes. Thank you. How many of those do I, like, need a bit? Oh, I just need some stones. It's all such little pieces around here. Over on the other side of the ridge, it was massive chunks of ferrite. Now on this side, it's all little pieces. Ferrite dust, 64, begin. Okay, no, it does go straight into pure ferrite. I'm being stupid. Ignore everything I'm doing. Do as I say, not as I do. <laughs> These videos are not here to guide you. They are so that we can grow together and watch me flail around like a goddamn idiot. Repair. I think. See? <gasps> Ship repaired. Launch systems online. Pick up the portable refiner. Oh, we need that. Okay, good. Thank you, machine, for reminding me. I want to say, actually, before I get in the ship, can I switch this off? I, I just one mo. Let's just have a quick look in the options, because that's one thing I haven't checked, is there's loads of things in my way. Can we turn that off? Okay. Ah, oh, that's better. Now I feel like I'm really here, because Skyrim's kind of hudless and things. Can I still see my health, though? Where does my health go now? Oh, it's not here. I was really hoping that, like, the starship, you'd have it all here and I could just check it whenever I wanted. Is there no way to see my health, like, on on the fly? Maybe it's this ring or something? Who knows? But for now, just for flying the ship and everything, I'd like to try and do it without the HUD. Oh. External radiation, 5.9 rads. AD Sketcher, if you want to find me on the internet, on the PSN, it's always going to be written. It's always going to be written here. Photon cannons, the radiant pillar. I love the way it's all laid out. Oh, uh -huh. <gasps> we're up slowly. Oh yes, that's amazing. Oh, it actually, feels quite good. That is amazing. Can I let go of the controls? <gasps> I can just let it drift. That's just f***ing amazing. That is stunning. Bravo. Bravo. You've got me. You've absolutely na you've nailed this man. I am impressed. Let's just uh, ease the throttle forward a little bit. Oh, 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 oh. let's steer, shall we? Oh, it's so, so responsive. Oh, look at me, sort of drifting. Ah, oh, that feels very good. Oh, oh, I boosted. How did I do that? Ah, oh, thumb button. And the other thumb button. Oh, that feels good because of the way a move controller is set up. The thumb button, where this button actually looks like it is, is where the button is for my thumb to use the gun. There are so many buttons. I've got rockets as well. <laughs> Full throttle. What do they all do? Oh, there's a scanner. God, you can, like, just bump into the floor. Can you, like, hit trees and stuff? Are you? Oh my god, you can! For just a split second, I thought you couldn't. And maybe I was having myself on, but you actually can. Okay, so let go of that, because we're just full throttle, and that's all we need. Let's go and investigate the clouds. So I'm really eeping this out for myself, to sort of do it bit by bit. Just fully get a grip with each little piece of this beautiful thing. The clouds are real! Ah, oh, I'm blind. I'm blind. Oh my god! Stop! 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 Whoa! Okay. Okay. That was actually terrifying. Just went blind into the cloud and then suddenly the floor was there. I have pulled back. Let's go around the cloud. They're really dangerous. <laughs> Let's just go in slowly. Let's just let go of the buttons. So we're just going straight through. In one side and out the other. That's so cool. Clouds are like a thing. 
It looks amazing. I don't know why I'm so impressed, but I am. That's just brilliant. You're watching the sun fade through. <gasps> oh my god, this really is amazing. A whole new world. I just want to see Aladdin on a carpet. It looks that fluffy. Now I'm in the clouds, they almost look better. Let's go for it. Space! Oh my god! Look at this, lads and lasses. We're in space. And there's where we were. Can we spin the... Oh, we can. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. There we go. A bit too much, but... <laughs> Look at that. That's literally where we were. That's so cool. Can we scan for stuff from up here? Does that mean we can find things? Oh! Well, it looks good. Okay, now, I've been looking at that planet, like, the entire time. So we are totally going there. Um... Which button? Aha! There it is! Okay, fuel remaining 50. That's got to be, uh... How long will that last? I wonder what we even need to keep it all charged. My god, who knows? We need a space station or something, really, don't we? Isn't that, like, goal number one? I don't even know what the goals are now. You're all going to have to guide me through the rest of this. I'm going to head my way to this planet. You've all been amazing for joining me this far. And in the next beautiful episode, I'm going to be exploring this ring and wandering through the asteroid field and down to the planet. It's going to be incredible. Hit me up with your base suggestions, uh, ship names, places to go if there are any. I've no idea how this works. But please like, subscribe, hit that bell icon. And we will see you all in the next glorious episode of... No Man's Sky!